Uh, we are still in the mistakes that I've done in the angle bisecting technique and in this videograph you see the typical example of incorrect horizontal angulation where you can see the overlapping margins and this is because of the uh, failure to align the beam uh, with the buccal surface of teeth and thus the x-ray did not enter between the teeth uh, so it ended up with overlapping this is the first problem the second problem is that there is a marked elongation of the teeth and this is because of the uh, uh, of directing the beam uh, perpendicular uh, on the plane of teeth or reduction in the angle, uh, vertical angulation the third problem is the cone cutting on the uh, canine area and the last problem is the increased uh, distance of free margin between the occlusal surface of teeth and the uh, free margin of the film which ended up in the uh, 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 cutting off of the apices of teeth and this has been of course aggravated, aggravated by the uh, elongation if the teeth if the vertical angulation was increased uh, uh, the teeth will appear shorter there is a chance to grab the uh, uh, image of the apices of teeth another radiograph where you can see uh, concat elongation incorrect horizontal angulation and the failure to follow the uh, arch of uh, occlusal arch so we have more than two millimeters in this area of course the uh, the apices of teeth were cut off this tooth though it was elongated but we can still see an apex of the tooth because of the uh, uh, reduce margin but once the margin uh, of free margin of the film is increased there is a definite cutoff in the uh, apex of the tooth or the apices of the teeth depends on the number of teeth that are present on uh, in, uh, in the individual case in this radiograph uh, the film was well below the uh, occlusal margin and not only the apex of the teeth actually half of the tooth or the teeth is cut off so this is the first problem it hardly shows actually uh, half of the three teeth in distance the second major problem is the apparent elongation this is due to reduced vertical uh, elongation I mean of the uh, of the images so this is due to the uh, reduced vertical angulation so this is a total uh, use, totally useless uh, radiograph the elongation sometimes is so severe as you can see in this radiograph uh, is I don't know what to say you, these, these teeth are supposed to be crowned and we want to see the crown the crown appears so elongated this plus uh, see the uh, the margin over here but uh, this the cone in this uh, radiograph has been directed almost 90 degrees to the crown so it's the the vertical angulation is it, w it is decreased so uh, it ended up with this uh, horrible image I would say same problem keeps on repeating uh, is the failure to uh, uh, maintain a two millimeter distance so see the result and the teeth appear longer than they are so again there is a reduction in the uh, uh, vertical angulation please make sure that when you take a radiograph ask the patient to close patients sometimes 
uh, if they are not told uh, they will keep their uh, contact or not uh, the occlusion open and this you will end up with this uh, bite wing supposedly a bite wing uh, but the patient has uh, did not uh, bite on the bite tab over here so we end up with this problem so make sure before you expose that the patient is biting on the uh, bite wing tab